The old coal fire was roaring, roaring in the great, in this old range. Now, this lady, this grandmother, loved her house just the way that it was. She hadn't changed the thing. On the mantelpiece there were still brass deer. Above the fireplace the clothes were drying. And she sat in the chair closest to the fire by the side of the old back door. And the cat was sometimes sleeping and sometimes awake. But she was firmly fast asleep, with the glasses at the tip of her nose. And while she was asleep in her old house, a man, a strong man, her grandson, who had worked almost all the way through the night, and now it was midday, in the brick factory. He had been working hard, making the bricks, forming the clay and firing them. He loved the idea that everything that he made was going to be used to make a building. And he loved the idea that with every brick, another building would grow bigger and it would all be because of him. Now, he was going to go back to see his grandma. He loved his grandma very much. She hadn't changed the thing in the house. And he remembered, as he was getting closer to the door, the way that he had played with his old toys. The toys that he played with had belonged to his grandma. Sometimes she said that some of them had belonged to her great-grandma. Old toys, good toys, toys that wouldn't get broken so easily. When he was little he had played with a, a boat. Now he couldn't sail the boat inside of the house because it didn't have a bathroom. He couldn't sail it in the river or the stream, but he would put it in an old tin bath that his grandma would fill with water and put out in the backyard and he would sail the boat this way and that. And this tall, strong man, it was, as he was going back to his grandma's house, smiled to himself and remembered how he had played with his grandma's grandma's toys. She had said, his grandma, had always said that she was never going to change a thing and she was going to stay in this house for as long as she could. All around her, the houses had changed. All around her, time had moved on. But it was just like stepping into the past when he walked in through the old brown door and he smiled to himself. For there was his grandma fast asleep, a cap on her head, glasses on her nose, and a cat on her knee. Now, the cat woke up as soon as he came in, but she didn't. He thought that he would play, not a trick on her, but give her a big surprise. He would make her some tea. Now, the kettle was resting by the side of the fire, and before he had a chance to make the tea, the kettle whistled a loud, shrill, high noise, and she woke up and... She looked at him. Oh, you are a good boy. You've always been a good grandson to me. Grandma, I love your house. Your house is old, but it still reminds me of the past. It reminds me of when I was little. And when I walk in through the door, I feel as if I'm six again. Some of the things that you've got, nobody knows what they're for. The toys that you've got, Nobody knows how to play with them anymore. The old woman thought that this was really sad. She brushed at a cat and she thought to herself, things have changed. Perhaps I could work some way where I could show the children how to use brushes, how toys were made out of tin, how people would play with things and they would all sit around and play together. How they could use boats. I've got to tell you that all of the things that were inside of his grandmother's house, when she was no longer with them, they were placed inside of a museum. And he would go and visit with his own children. And he would look. He would look at the things inside of the house and he would remember the things that he'd done. He would remember the way that things were. And inside of that museum, it was when he closed his eyes. It was just like being back in his grandma's house. <laughs>